All right. Awesome. So welcome, everyone. My name is Tiffany Dubon Yard. I am the Associate Director for the Office of Student Life here at Bronx Community College. Welcome to the new and transfer students, and welcome back to all of our continuing students. Give a hand. Before we get started, I'd like to show you um, a short welcome video for from Bronx Community College faculty, staff. Welcome to BCC Early Childhood Center. We're located behind Colston Hall. Come on, stop by. Welcome to BCC. We are the CARES Department, the counselor and resources for emergency support. Let us tell you how we care for you. We care for you with compassion for you as a human being. Acceptance for everyone who we work with. Respect for your unique situation. Empathy for what you are experiencing and how it is impacting your life. We sincerely want to see you succeed in school and in life. Come see us at Low Hall 419 or 430 so that we can meet you and help you with whatever you need. Hey everyone, uh, this is Jay from the LGBTQI Plus Resource Room at BCC. I want to welcome everyone to the college. I'm hoping to see everyone uh, walking about. Uh, we're here located at 312 Roscoe Brown, so please stop by and uh, look forward to seeing everyone. CUNY Edge welcomes you to BCC. We're located in Lower Hall, room 106A. Hi, welcome to BCC. My name is John Rosa. I'm the coordinator of the Veterans Office here at BCC. This is... My name is Emily, and I'm the president of the Veterans Club. Welcome. We are in Low Ball, room 328, 326, and 319. Stop by and say hello. Hello, students. We are the Disability Services. We're located in Low Hall, room 211. And welcome to BCC. Welcome to BCC from College Discovery. We wish you a great semester. Come visit us in Low Hall, room 406. Welcome, welcome to BCC. <laughs> So as you see, we have several different services on campus here for the purpose of you, to serve you, to help you. We want to make sure that from the moment you step foot onto the BCC campus as a registered enrolled student, that we see you step foot in a cap and gown on commencement day with all of your 60 plus degrees ready to transfer or start your careers. So we're happy that you are here, that you're with us this academic year, and we look forward to serving and caring for you all as our students. Without, um, actually, I'm now going to go into introducing our first speaker um, of the after, for the afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome our first set of welcome remarks from our illustrious president, Dr. Milton Santiago. Dr. Santiago began as an interim president on August 21st, 2023, after serving as interim vice president of administration and finance here at Bronx Community College. He assumed the role following the retirement of Dr. Thomas Sekonegbi, the sixth president in BCC's history. Dr. Santiago is an experienced leader in higher education and has held numerous roles within the CUNY system. As interim president, Dr. Santiago will focus on ensuring addressing the individual needs of students, excuse me, ensuring BCC's fiscal stability, increasing the student retention rate, preserving aging infrastructure, and addressing the individual needs of students. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming interim president, Dr. Milton Santiago to the stage. Thank you so much, Stephanie, especially for the uh, illustrious part, right? I, <laughs> but welcome, everyone. Uh, and, uh, you know, welcome to the new semester at BCC. I think that this is going to be uh, a, a different type of year. Uh, this is the first time in eight years that we've had some transition at the leadership of the institution. So as I thought about what was I going to talk to you about, right? you know, several things came to mind. One is that, you know, I used to be you, right? I'm a kid from 153rd Street and Broadway in Upper Manhattan. 
and who went to college and, uh, and, and things changed, right? So neighborhoods changed. Everybody that was in my neighborhood when I grew up, they're all gone. People from, from this neighborhood have also evolved, right? They have always come to BCC. BCC has given them better opportunities for them to better their lives, and they have moved on, and other groups come in, and we do the same thing, right? Over and over again, right? So, you know, the war in poverty is never gonna be over here at BCC, so I want you to know that. But I also wanna ask you this, how many of you, particularly those who are freshmen, has spent any time at all in lockdown during the pandemic? Let me see a raise of hands. Let me see a show of hands. Okay. So, you know, it, th that must have been obviously a, a very difficult thing for the entire country, but particularly for young people who were in high school who were probably looking forward to hanging out with their friends and going to classes and uh, learning from their teachers, et cetera, uh, having to all of a sudden do that big shift to an online program, uh, looking at a at a screen as opposed to you know talking to someone face to face you know those those kinds of things uh, I think that were difficult so we're back this is our second year back uh, I have seen more students walking around campus here I'm told than 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 last year but I've seen quite a few so I'm very encouraged about that uh, I want you to take advantage of what we have you saw it in the film you know all the kinds of services that we have none of that existed when I was a college student I had food insecurities when I was a college student. You ha we have a food pantry here. There's no need for you to have food insecurities. If you're a parent and you have child care issues, we have a child care center that can take care of that as well. Right? So there are so many services that we offer our students here uh, that outside of the academic area to take care of your interpersonal issues right? or personal circumstances. The only thing that we don't have is housing. right? So. But we also have many academic resources that can help you succeed, and I would hope that you would take advantage of them. Don't stay quiet if you don't feel like you're not doing well academically. We have resources to help you. Don't feel like there's something wrong with me, I can't learn, or don't, you know, any of those feelings. College is already hard enough. You don't need to make it any harder on yourself, right? So, you know, we're here to help you through this journey. We hope that this is a long and productive and successful journey for you. Uh, and like Tiffany said, we hope to see you in cap and gown in two years. Okay, so thank you so much and have a great academic year. Give another round of applause to our president. At this point in time, I'd like to call up um, our Student Government Association president. Our president would like to share his experience and experiences and opportunities with the rest of you in hopes of a brighter tomorrow. He is a business administration computer programming major in his third semester, expected to graduate at the end of this spring 2024 semester. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Nicholas Fernandez, your SGA president to the stage. Oh boy. Greetings students, esteemed faculty, staff, and administrators. Welcome to the all new transfer students and welcome back to the, stu uh, to the continuing students like me. My name is Nicholas Fernandez and I am your student government association president here at Bronx Community College. BCC's SGA are your student advocates. If you ever need any assistance, have concerns, want to get engaged on campus, please do not hesitate to reach out to myself or to any of the senators. SGA senators in the crowd, please stand up and wave to your constituents. <laughs> it is an honor to stand before you as you start or continue your educational journeys at Bronx Community College. 
Know that your journey at Bronx Community College will not only empower you academically, but it will also provide you with a supportive community that believes in your dreams. From the very first day you step on foot on campus, you become part of the vibrant tapestry of student life. Our range of student programs caters to our diverse interests, offering you avenues to explore your passions, connect with your peers, and enrich your college experience. Whether you are drawn to leadership roles, community service, or cultural exchange, our student programs are here to ignite your spark. We understand that the path to higher education can be financially challenging. And that's why we are proud to offer extensive financial aid services as well as access to programs to ensure that each of you has the chance to thrive academically regardless of your background. For our student parents, we recognize the balancing act you undertake every day. Our Early Childhood Center provides a nurturing environment where your little ones can thrive while you excel in your studies. We believe that we believe that education should be accessible to all and your dreams should never be compromised. Amid the hustle and bustle of college life, we understand that students face various challenges. CARES offers free services to assist you in time of need. The free food pantry stands as a testament to our commitment to your well-being, ensuring that no student goes hungry. Additionally, we provide your mental health and well-being. We have a dedicated team of professionals available to provide you with your support and guidance you may need through life's ups and downs. Our campus is a safe space where you can learn, make mistakes, and grow. You're a part of a community that encourages you to explore your boundaries, question the status quo, and discover your true potential. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. As you embark on this exciting journey, know that you are not alone. Your fellow students, our faculty, and the entire staff are here to guide and support you. It is your courage and determination that have brought you here today. And for that, you should be immensely proud. Higher education is a noble pursuit, and you have chosen a path that will not only enrich your own lives, but also make our world a better place. In closing, I want you all to carry forward the lessons learned here, the friendships forged, and the belief that you can achieve greatness. BCC is what you make of it, so make the best you can out of it. The Student Government Association is here to help you, and we are your village. Thank you. Let's give him another round of applause. Great job, great job. Um, now, to bring you greetings from the faculty side, please join me in um, introducing and welcoming the College Senate chairperson. He's also the chairperson of the Art and Music Department, Professor Ronnie Benoon. Oof, que calor. Oh. Um, hi, everybody. Um, here, I'm, I, I prepared a speech and all, but uh, thank you. First, let me start by saying thank you, you know, because uh, there are choices out there for students who are looking for uh, an education. And I know many times, unfortunately, we are not the first choice. But I wanted to come here and tell you why we should be your first choice. And thank you for coming here, regardless of which choice we were for you. Um, so, a little bit about me. Um, I was a foreign student here at BCC. I came here in 1997. Uh, I guess uh, before some of you were born, uh, painfully, yeah, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. Um, I came here with my brother. Uh, we were foreign students. We came to BCC. And uh, really, my entire life was realigned thanks to coming here. And it's not by chance that I work here now. It's not by chance that I'm a full professor, a chair of a department, and the chair of the Senate of this college. This college has become my home. 
And I wouldn't even say second home because actually I spent more years here than in any country I lived in or house. I move a lot. I'm a gypsy like that, but still. So really, BCC for me is my home. And I cannot imagine my life without it. Um, and I hope that it will be like that for you. Whether you come back to work here, like me, and more than 200 other people that work here, that were students here, there's a lot of us. I'm not the only one. This place is special. And so that's what happens, you know. Um, but even if you just pass by here, I hope like me and like my brother, who's not, who doesn't work here, but now is a teacher in New Jersey teaching math, uh, I hope that this will be the first step in a wonderful career and a wonderful life. I mean, I came here broke. I didn't have anything. I didn't have anyone. And now, you know, I, I live a very good, comfortable life doing something that I feel is actually very important, is helping you guys achieve the same. So for me, it, it is the most fulfilling thing I've done in my life, maybe other than having a kid. But you know what? She's not here, so it's a close, it's a close call. <laughs> Speaking of that kid, so, you know, uh, the, the Benun story with BCC goes beyond me and my brother just coming here. My brother was actually valedictorian of BCC in 1999. Yeah. He beat me, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, he's my older brother, so he always beat me. Uh, I met my wife here. Okay. Yeah, I met my wife here. She works here, too. Um, and, 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 it, and, and so, and it's not only that, it's like, and we had a wonderful daughter, and you know, our only child, the miracle, when we gave up, whatever. But, <laughs> so guess what? This kid grows up, right? And she comes here as a baby, and she sits in the class as a child, and whatever. And when it was time for her to graduate college and choose colleges, where do you think was her first choice? BCC. BCC, ladies and gentlemen. The only choice, actually, she refused to write any other college in the, in the, in the application and got in trouble with her counselors because they were like, oh, but this is a two-year college, blah, blah, blah. And she says, I don't care. This is where I'm going. My daughter now completed her first year here at BCC, and she's now on her second year. <laughs> yep. She is the vice president of a club, you know, and she loves every second that she's here. Maybe except commuting with her parents. <laughs> I mean, you know, the poor kid. But then she puts the headphones on and, you know, it's like we're talking, but nobody's listening. So I suppose it's all right. But the thing for me, the thing for me is, you know, my daughter will be here for just for two years. My wife and I have been here for more than 20, and probably, unfortunately, I'm too young to retire. I'll probably have to put in another 20. So. Although I love it that my daughter is here, it's just a little drop in the bucket. What never changes is you guys, because it's you this year, and next year is another group, and another group, and we want to help all of you, okay? For me, having my daughter here is special, and yet it's the same, because we, the love and the devotion that I dedicate to her, I dedicate to all my students, and I'm not alone. That's the thing I want you to know. Because I know sometimes you can go in an office and the air condition is broken and the fan is loud and the person there sweating is not giving you like the love you deserve and you're a little pissed. I hear you, but believe me, there are many of us here, many that live day by day dedicated to you and your success. This is all we do. All right, this is, this is it. This is the focus of our lives, okay? Uh, and when you cho choose to come here to BCC, for us, it's a challenge and a blessing. It's a challenge because we have to give you what you deserve, and sometimes we fail. Sometimes, you know, the facility doesn't work, the air condition is broken, whatever, the teacher is sick, and, uh, and you come to class and you didn't get the notice. Happens. 
but it's a challenge that we, we live up to and we try to live up to every day. So what I want to tell you as new students here is where you come in, where you can help us. BCC has a lot of services and a lot of programs like ASAP, like College Discovery, there's like MEN. We have so many like wraparound services to help our students because we know how important this is, this stage in your life is. It's critical actually, and how fragile it is. Because you know, we, we're all, you know, we're all like one job away from, you know, going broke or a family member getting ill and then you, you, you're, you're stuck, you know, you have to help them, but you gotta try to go to school. We know, we know what our students go through, you know, uh, and so we have like many services to try to help you guys. What we need is for you to come and say, I need the help. That's what we need, because otherwise, we can have all the officers in the world, if you don't come in, we'll never be able to help you. So my message to you, is number one, know that there are many people like me who believe this is the best school that you can go to, and I believe it all heartedly. We have faculty that can match any faculty in Harvard and Oxford, I don't care, okay? I'm telling you. And we have staff that are dedicated. Uh, many of them were students here. Many of them know exactly where you're coming from. And you know, and we have very capable administrators whose job is to manage this, you know, big university and make it run. And between all of us, I think we, we have a good team and I think we have a good track record um, to prove it, you know. So what I'm asking you to do is this. Don't judge your educational experience based on one bad experience that you might have, you know. Are all the teachers the best? Maybe you get one that's not the best. You know, I apologize for that, but you know it could happen. Maybe you get one office that uh, is not polite, you know. Okay, but what I'm asking is give us a chance to prove to you that you did not make a mistake by coming here and that this place will serve you as it served me and thousands and thousands of people who passed through here to great achievements, all right? The thing is, we need your help to do this. You know, pay attention in your class. Uh, learn your professor's name. You know, get involved in your success. Join a club, join student government, you know. Uh, that's great service and great educational experience right there. Um, you know, get involved in, in the academic, but also in the community of BCC, make friends. You know, I guess uh, my, my, my daughter has a boyfriend now, you know. <laughs> it's, it's good, you know what I mean? Enjoy, you're young, you're young, you know. I'm too old to have a boyfriend, but, uh, but you know, she, uh, my wife also probably would, would not like it. But, uh, but she does, you know, she came here, she met somebody, you know, whatever. It's good, that's, that's you know, this, is the, this should be the best time of your life. And many of us here are dedicated to helping you make it so, all right? So go out there, enjoy yourself, and work hard because it pays off. Thank you very much. Another round of applause for Ronnie Benoon, please. No, no, you're fine. You're fine, yes. So, <clears throat> at this point, please join me in welcoming academic affairs greetings from Dr. Luis Montenegro. Thank you. I cannot follow the last three speakers, obviously. Um, certainly, I don't have the, the comical timing uh, that uh, Professor Benon has, uh, and he's actually said a lot of things that uh, I would have said myself. Um, first, I'd like to welcome everyone here. Uh, welcome those who are uh, coming to the college for the first time and those that are returning from the summer break. 
Um, every fall semester, I think, brings new hope to myself. I've been here uh, 26 years, and every year, um, every year, you know, seeing new faces uh, renews my, my hope and my commitment to the mission of the college. I began at BCC as an adjunct faculty teaching in astronomy lab course. And I've been a faculty uh, in, in the college and administrator in the college through all this time. And like I said, every fall semester beginning um, uh, gives me new hope. It's a renewal of the college. So we get new faculty, we get faculty retiring, but always we get new students. We recognize that uh, faculty that may have been teaching us same, the same course 10 years, um, every new semester is a new experience for them. The students in the classroom change. The discourse in that classroom is different from what it was a year ago, 10 years ago. And that, I think, re re revitalizes their commitment to teach as well. Ronnie mentioned that, uh, you know, we have a lot of services for you, and we need your help. Also want to flip, flip the script a little bit. It also means that you have a lot of responsibilities. We all are responsible for our roles. The Office of Academic Affairs oversees 15 departments, including the, the library. We work collaboratively with faculty to set the college governance um, policies, uh, academic requirements, program requirements, course requirements. Faculty are responsible for teaching those courses and setting those standards for you to meet in the classroom. It is your responsibility to meet those standards. Sometimes the learning process seems very lonely. Working, um, reading, a, reading uh, an assignment, doing an assignment in the library or at home or on the weekend, whatever time you can catch. But recognize that that journey that you're taking through your learning process, although it may seem lonely, you're not going through it alone. All the faculty are responsible for setting those standards they're also responsible for creating the scaffold to help you get to those objectives. We also have a lot of um, academic support services that will help you, but you have to also extend uh, your hand to reach out to them. Like I said, you all, you all ha have a role to, to, to fill, a responsibility to meet, and uh, you have to keep in mind that becoming a college student and remaining a college student uh, requires you to develop new attitudes, new behaviors, new skill sets that are all working or should be working in concert to make you a successful college student. Those of you who began your journey at BCC last week, uh, you may have been disorient disoriented in that first day of classes, not knowing where to go, what to expect, um, what, what uh, would be that college classroom experience. It's different. It's uh, disorienting. It's stressful, but hopefully by the second week, you got your sea legs, you feel a little bit better, you know where to go, uh, you know where the library is, you know where, where services are, so you're getting a little bit better sense of what to expect. Well, keep that in mind because that change in your attitude is gradual, but if you keep that attitude change and, and that set of, of expectations and anticipation, preparation, and planning throughout your coursework here, you'll be well set to succeed at BCC. Also keep in mind that this is a transition to another stage. By, by design, the college experience at community colleges is two or three years. You come here already, hopefully, with an objective in mind to graduate or transfer, or graduate and begin your first professional career. So as you begin BCC, you also have to think, keep in mind your long-term objectives in a year on two years, and you have to begin planning that as well. The, I think the secret to success is not really a secret. It's a set of attitudes and a determination to become more self-disciplined and become an agent of your own future. So it's important for you to think about what you're learning here today, what all the support services you have in place around you and use them to help you succeed, to make it from one week to the next, one semester to the next, on to graduation. Because we all want you to be there. We want to share that celebration with you when you walk across that aisle. 
So lastly, I just wanted to say that I mentioned that the learning experience may seem like a lonely endeavor, but you're not alone. You won't be alone if you reach out. And some of you might be introverts. I myself am an introvert, but I learned that to do better, to make better decisions, to achieve more, I have to work in a team. Sometimes you have to create your own team. Classmate in your, in your classes, um, a mentor, a tutor working in the academic success uh, center, uh, an advisor, a faculty mentor, anyone that you can connect with that can help you is probably the most important decision you can make in your journey here. So take advantage of that because there's a lot of us here that want to help you succeed. Thank you. Okay, let's give a round of applause for all of our speakers this afternoon so far, all of the amazing welcome greetings we've received. Next up, we have our keynote speaker. Um, our keynote speaker is a BCC graduate, actually, uh, he, with an associate of, in liberal arts and human services. He is a Latino born and raised in the Bronx, and he currently attends Lehman College, pursuing his bachelor's in liberal arts and interdisciplinary studies. He's also a family member, right, to Bronx Community College, to College Discovery, to several programs, um, but primarily College Discovery because of his wonderful mother working in College Discovery. So first I'd like to welcome to the podium Jeanette Davila. Uh, Jeanette will be introducing a short clip that we have uh, that we would like to play before uh, we bring our keynote speaker onto the stage. So another round of applause for Jeanette Davila, please. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I am very happy to be here with you guys. I welcome all the new students. Welcome to BCC. And I do believe, and I know, everybody has said it, but I'm gonna repeat it one more time. You have made the best choice of your life. And I'm gonna show this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the um, event. Luis Mendez was born on November 3, 1993 first son to Jeanette Davila Mendez and Modesto Mendez, the older brother to Roberto and Emily Mendez. He was a very joyful boy, very talented and introvert. He was raised by his parents, surrounded with love and righteousness. I have been working at BCC since 1991. Whenever I could, I would bring my kids to work with me at the college, especially Luis. I did it with the intention for him observing the older students and perhaps sparking in him a better interest in school. From the age of 14, Luis began to change, showcasing unacceptable behaviors. He strayed along paths full of mistakes and tragedies. He caused us many problems, and we made every effort to help him in different ways, but everything seemed impossible. He stopped attending classes. As a result, I withdrew Louis from high school. Later on, I registered him in the Future Now program at Bronze Community College in the spring of 2012. Louis took the GED exam, which he passed. Then, with the help of Future Now and College Discovery, he matriculated in BCC, trying to pursue for his associate. By 2014, Louis had his first son, Sire Mendez. He was forced to stop his studies in order to provide financial support for his son. Louis took wrongful paths. This caused him to get shot in the head in June 12, 2016, which left him almost for dead. A young man of 22 years is fighting for his life. According to doctors, Louis will not survive this trauma brain injury given that the bullet damaged many of the neuron cells in the right side of his brain. The doctors told me that if he lived beyond 72 hours, he will be in a vegetative state for the rest of his life. 
These were very difficult times for my family and I. I never gave up. I battled by my son's side day in and day out. My faith was an essential part of Louis' recovery. The many and constant prayers were heard and Louis began to improve. My eyes saw him getting better one day at a time. In 2019, after a long road to recovery through therapy, being in the hospital, in and out of rehabilitation centers, I decided to re-enroll him in college with the purpose of exercising his mind. I did not want to see my son of 25 years old bedbound. Through hard work and the assistance of Future Now and the Disability Office, once more, I was able to readmit Luis to the college. This time, I had no realistic hope of him being able to finish his studies. I only made this decision to keep his mind occupied and active despite his disability. Louis amazed me and all our family. He gave his all both in his therapy and in his studies. Louis got up from the bed. He got up from the wheelchair. He gave all his effort to improve his physical and intellectual condition. In June 2022, Luis graduated from BCC with his associate's degree in liberal arts and human services. Currently, Luis is pursuing his bachelor's degree at Neiman College. Luis is an example of strength effort and how it is possible to take advantage of the second opportunities that life might give you. This is an, an honor for me and I say with a lot of um, pride that at least I have my son here. Not everybody has made it. There's many young people that they didn't have that second chance, but my son had it. So Luis Mendez is here with you guys. Good afternoon, God bless you all. I'm gonna get rid of that soon anyway. Okay, so I came here to talk to you guys. Obviously, you guys saw the video, but I want to touch on something. When we're born into this world, we do not know what the future holds for us. As babies, we just want to be nurtured, protected, and fed. When we're old enough to run, talk, and play, that's just what we want to do constantly. Honestly, for most of us, college and earning a degree is the last thing on our minds, even in high school. When I started my first semester here at BCC, I had no plan, no goals, no expectations for the future. I dropped out of school. It is sad to say that the Bronx has the highest college dropout rate at 11.7%, followed by Brooklyn at 7.4%, and Manhattan at 7.3%, then Queens at 6.4%, and lastly, Staten Island has 6%. Unfortunately, taking the wrong path in life and making self-inflicted decisions caused this brain injury and traumatic event in my life. But you know what? None of us here are perfect. We've all made mistakes. But our mistakes don't define who we are or who we'll become in the future. Only God knows your future. I face many challenges not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, then after enrolling back into BCC with my insecurities about how people looked at me. But after hearing positive advice from my mother and lo loved ones, I began to ignore the negative thoughts that came to mind. Nobody knows what battles you face, whether they are noticeable or not. I'm here to tell you today, you can do anything you put your mind to, no matter what you're going through. Even if family members or friends have little hope in you, 
It feels really good when you prove people and statistics wrong. Listen, you guys attending here and making the decision to be here is the right step towards something big. Not only doctors, lawyers, and nurses are successful. I promise you one thing. If you take on the challenge to prove yourself that you can and you will start and finish strong, then you too can become successful in whatever you decide to do, no matter the major and or education path you take. Choose your own happiness. It starts with you. I did it and I'm still doing it. One semester at a time, it's really not rocket science. Day by day, class by class, assignment by assignment, degree by degree, you can become whatever you never imagined in your mind. I am proud to say that I have a 4.0 GPA and Thank you, thank you, thank you. And two semesters left to graduate with my bachelor's. But all this I have accomplished with a hole in my brain, without full function of my left arm, and obviously walking with a cane. Yet, it's not where life problems come. It's about what you do after. Yes, sometimes doubt comes to our minds, but we have to ignore it and not allow it to block the greatness and the good things that await us in the near future. Time waits for no one, and honestly, the years go by so fast that in the blink of an eye, you have your own degree in your hands and starting your own lives. This world has already pointed to the Bronx as the highest dropout rate in all of New York City. Let's prove them wrong and make the difference starting today, right here, right now. Fix your mind to the goal, which is to graduate with your degree from BCC. Focus on the finish line, and you'll get there. It starts with your degree here, but it doesn't end after BCC. There are so many schools, trades, and options you can go to, take, and benefit from. You all are the future, each and every one of you here. Graduating and moving up in life will not only change the dropout rates in the Bronx, but you can all change the world by making a difference together. Please take advantage of the beautiful, loving, helpful staff here at BCC. I wish you the best. Good luck. God bless you all. And I know for a fact it is possible. I am living proof of that. Thank you. I am very proud, ma'am. And I never thought that I was going to be able to see that. Um, we wrote a book about his life, and I we need, we're going to be giving some books, right? So Tiffany will talk up more about that. Continue your journey, and I hope you finish what you started. Have a good afternoon. Oh, that was beautiful, right? Another round of applause for our keynote speaker, Luis Mendez. And on that note of getting your degree, completing your education, seeing it through, I would like for our great student leaders from the Student Government Association and the Male Empowerment Network to please join me on stage. Yes. <laughs> and for all of the students in the audience to please stand up. Right in the front. You see where the white line is? Right along the white line. So why are you standing, right? Because at this point in time, you're going to repeat after your student leaders and join us. You can just stand up in, right in your seats. You, you're not coming on stage. You're standing right there. And this is your commitment pledge to graduate, to finish your studies, to continue it past Bronx Community College. This may be your first step, but it's not your last step, right? So, you will repeat 
after us. Student leaders will start. I commit to planning for college completion. I commit to planning for college completion. And you guys join in when we went on the repeat part. It's not just them, you're committing as well. So we're gonna do this one more time. I commit to planning for college completion. I commit to planning for college completion. All right, some of you are just mouthing it, but I really wanna hear it for our second pledge, okay? I commit to discuss career planning with college instructors and staff. I commit to discuss career planning with college instructors and staff. Okay. <laughs> I commit to seeking advisement on course selection to ensure timely college completion. I commit to seeking advisement on course selection to ensure timely college completion. Now, if this was a concert, y'all be yelling. So I want to hear louder voices from the audience and not so much from the stage, OK? All right. Yes, we'll repeat it. I commit to seeking advisement on course selection to ensure timely college completion. I commit to seeking advisement on course selection to ensure timely college completion. I commit to learning about and using college support networks and resources aiding college completion. I commit to learning about and using college support networks I'm going to be silent when y'all start coming to my office looking for help. Okay? <laughs> they are quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I commit to serve as role model by attending classes. I commit to serve as role model by attending classes. Being prepared. Being prepared. Participating and engaging. Participating and engaging. In discussions with instructors and students. Inside and outside the class. I commit to reaching out to a student in need. By encouraging, nurturing, and guiding them towards college completion. I commit to helping at least one student succeed. This last line, I want the staff and faculty members to join me. I commit to helping at least one student succeed. Amazing. Thank you all. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you, student leaders. Please, you can have a seat again. Everyone can have a seat. So as we're wrapping up student convocation, we do have a few announcements to make, and we do have a giveaway. So if you all signed in on your way into student convocation today, then you're all set to go in regards of being having your name put into a raffle for to receive a book um, by Luis Mendez and Jeanette Davila on his story. So we are giving away 10 books, um, and we will put your name in an uh, electronic um, pinwheel, and 10 names will be selected at random. That's why we needed your email addresses as well. So if you RSVP'd, you're really good. If you signed in today, make sure we have your email address. If you didn't sign in at all, and you are interested in en being entered into the raffle, please make sure you sign in the sign-in sheets outside before you leave. Also, we have great opportunities on the BCC campus, right? But we also like to welcome and open our doors to people um, outside of the campus. Oh, did Dr. Phillips, are you still in the crowd? No? I think, okay. So we do have, um, and if the students are here, please uh, stand up and wave, but we do have a, the Indian student delegation here. We have about 17 interns visiting from 
and, I, and I'm sorry if I mess, up, mess this up, Rah Rajasthan, India, and they um, are from Maharana, Maharana Pratap University of Agriculture and Technology. So if the students are here, you can just stand up so we can welcome you to our Bronx Community College campus. We are having light refreshments right outside in the lobby, and we would love to have a meet and greet if you are interested in learning more about them. Um, Dr. Phillips, he does do um, a study abroad trip to India, and they're currently seeking for BCC students to take with them to that trip. Um, we also have opportunities with um, uh, Professor Eugene Adams. He takes students. Um, to Africa, I believe, right? Yes, to Africa, and they do internship work out there as well. So, you know, Bronx Community College, small school in, in, in the Bronx, right? But we do offer lifetime, out of this world opportunities. So please, 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 don't just go to your classes and leave. Go to your classes, stop at the Roscoe Brown Student Center, come up to the third floor, student life is there. Stop by the second floor, student government and woman up is right there. And on the first floor, you have the Mel Empowerment Network as well as Campus Service Center, um, help, ready and willing to help you. So please get engaged. We have a lot of um, clubs on campus. Oh, so please have a seat. I'm so sorry, I just noticed you're still standing. I am so sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but we do have a lot of different ways for you to become engaged on campus. Our student club fair is taking place at the end of September, on September 28th from 12 to 2. So if a lot of you are wondering where's the clubs, where's the clubs, they'll definitely be out there um, tabling and recruiting for more students. If you're interested in wondering how can you learn more about the clubs now, please feel free to go to the BCC website and when you click on campus life at the very top or students you'll see student organizations you click on that and you'll have the contact information of the advisors for all of the active clubs and that'll be obviously updated after September 28th once the clubs are rechartered again but if you want to get the ball rolling absolutely you can um, check that out where it says student clubs and societies you click on that and then you'll be able to see um, the contact information yep oh see right there so feel free to start reaching out to advisors to find out when clubs are meeting again and then we do have for those of you who are interested in the social justice um, we have the social justice student leadership certificate series so you'll see a lot of different workshops being um, happening around campus a lot of different events happening around campus wouldn't you want to get some credit or be certified in social justice for attending these workshops and attending these events so please make sure when you see the BCC broadcast that you um, for the social justice student leadership certificate series application you apply um, once you get in all of the events and all of the workshops that you attend this fall semester will count and get you certified uh, for the social justice network so along with that there's a lot of events okay and if you are bored on campus Stop by our office, Roscoe Brown Student Center 309. We'll make sure to get you involved. If you're looking for work and you do financially, please make sure you check your work study because a lot of different offices are looking for work study students. So that means that you can work on campus and the money will be given through to you through financial aid. So um, make sure you look into that. If not, we also have career and development, our career development office. They're located on the second floor of Sage Hall, and they're always there assisting with internships and job opportunities. If you're not sure what to wear to interview or even how to interview, they have an entire program to help you from the moment of getting your, your first interview or applying for a job all the way till you get that acceptance letter for that job. So please, 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 please take advantage of Bronx Community College. My name is Tiffany Dubonyard. I love you, good night. <laughs> we have light refreshments outside and please feel free to meet and greet with our Indian student delegation. Thank you.